in this video i will explain how to load one salesforce object in talent at the same time we will do a lookup on another object and get the id and populate it let's go to salesforce i mean object manager in this case i will uh, load the contact object which i have created I have created this test contact object. Let's go to the field and relationship. I have created these fields city, contact name, country, email ID, external ID, permanent address, phone, postal code, state, test account. In this test account, it's a lookup field and it is uh, pointing to the test account object. It's like a foreign key to the test account object. And there are a few auto populated fields like last modified by, created by. These are the audit fields. Let's go to talent. And uh, I have used the same source file. As you can see, the source file has contact name, mobile number, country, state, email ID. Uh, we'll use this mobile number as a unique field which will be populated to external ID of contact object. Based on that, that uh, insert or else update um, uh, will be populated, will be done. Let's go to talent. <coughs> I'll create the job. J S F B C contact test <clears throat> then uh, I'll use the, I'll use the uh, source file source sfdc account contact drag and drop here use that as file input delimited now drag and drop the Salesforce object, test contact, it will be T Salesforce out. Then I will use one T map. Then I will have to join with the test account object which will be used as a lookup. So drag and drop test account. I'll use that as input. Now map this source. Then this test account to tmap. Here it will be used as lookup. Then uh, map this tmap to test contact object and named it the uh, contact out now double click on tmap there are many fields in the contact out contact object we don't want all these to be populated as these are few of them are auto populated. So let's remove those. We need name and remove created by created date, last modified date. These things. Okay, external ID. Okay, these things. And uh, as this mobile number is integer, let's uh, change it to string. Otherwise, the job will fail. Next thing is uh, we have to join. To get the account ID, we'll join this account name with account object name. So there will be a join between account name and uh, account name object and we will get the ID. And this ID we have to map it to the lookup field. 
which is test account in contact object. Now map the fields, contact name to name, mobile number to phone. Country to country, state to state, email ID to email ID. And here we have to update, insert or update the records based on the mobile number. We should be unique. Let's map it. Test organization we don't need now. City also not required, postal code is also not required, permanent address also not required. Now apply, click OK. Now save. Let's go to workbench. Click on SOQL query. Login to workbench. Select test contact. Let's see if any records are present. Okay, in test underscore contact object, no records are present. Now go to talent, run the job, click run. The job has completed. Let's go to workbench, run the query. As you can see, uh, the fields have been populated like country, uh, created by these are auto populated, created by, created date. We have uh, mapped country, email ID, external ID, ID, which is the record ID. Then uh, Last modified, last modified, these are auto populated. Name, contact name, we have mapped. Owner ID, this is also auto populated. Then uh, phone numbers, a state, and uh, as you can see, test account. This is the lookup field, and uh, these are the account IDs which we got uh, after doing a lookup on account object. Now let's see the table data. Uh, let's go to this ID. Scroll this uh, to ID. Click on view in Salesforce. We'll see that in uh, Salesforce now. As you can see, uh, the record uh, contact has been created. You can see contact name phone number, external ID, email ID, then state, country, and the account which is related to this contact. As uh, I mentioned clearly previously, I am doing a lookup on account object to get the account name. Then uh, created by, modified by, as I have used uh, my user ID while loading uh, the records. So it's showing my name. And you can see 1131. And 1131, that time the record got loaded. Okay, another thing is uh, uh, to see the related account, uh, click on, you can click on this. And, uh, yeah, so you can see that account we created at 944. And we updated at 949 previously in my previous video. I had so, so in this way, you can uh, see the related account. Similarly, go to the next record or pick any record. Um, yeah, view in Salesforce.
as you can see for this contact to us you can see this is the phone number and uh, the related account is Suvasing. Click on that. This, will, this record also will loaded at 944. In this way, you can uh, uh, do a lookup on the object and get the IDs. Now go to talent. Previously, I did not use the offset option. You can um, uh, select that in the beginning. Same like while loading to the test account, you can use your uh, this external ID. Save this. Now go to the file. Let me update uh, the email ID here. Or uh, let me change the contact name as. Uh, Underscore test was underscore test. I have modified the two fields, two records. Now run the job. Let's see what happens. The job is running now. It has completed. You can see five records came from source. Five records uh, loaded to the target. Uh, go to workbench. Uh, previously, you can see all records loaded at uh, six thirty one, and uh, updated modified timestamp also six thirty one. Let's uh, run this query again. As you can see, created date is same for all five records, 631. Modified uh, date has been updated to 636. And as we have updated the names, yes, previously it was Ranjan. Now it is uh, Ranjan underscore test. And for this record, it was Subhas. Now it is uh, Subhas underscore test. And uh, modify timestamp has also got updated. Now go to uh, the ID, uh, scroll the cursor here, and uh, click on uh, view in Salesforce. Yeah, previously it was Subhas, now it became Subhas underscore test. And um, uh, create a timestamp was 1131. Uh, modify time stamp is 11.36. So in this way, uh, we can do a lookup in talent while loading to a Salesforce object. And uh, we can see the records in Salesforce. And we can query the records in uh, using Workbench. Yeah. So I'm done with this. Thank you.